The Shore Station Dock Builder is a free web-based dock building tool that's available on shorestation.com. To access the tool, go to the dealer portal and log in through your dealer credentials. Once you're in the dealer area, you can either click on the link on the landing page that says Dock Builder, or go to the online quoting program menu and select Dock Builder. When you get to this page, you have two, two ways to access. You can either click on the Launch Dock Builder button, or you can scan the QR code with your mobile device. When you click on the Launch Dock Builder button, it will open up in its own tab. Once it's loaded, you'll see that there's a dock section in the main view. This is a 3D model of a dock, so you can drag your mouse or your finger around in there to manipulate the dock. You also have a shore station menu on the left-hand side that has commands for adding accessories, changing the dock color, uh, setting water depths, and deleting. The menu icon on the right-hand side has different tools to allow you to uh, zoom or take a top view or take a screenshot and download through, download a 3D model, create a share link, or get a generated quote from the, uh, from the dock layout you have. The dock builder interface requires you to click on the dock run to manipulate it. When you click on it once, you get the plus and minus arrows to allow you to change the length of the dock run. If you click on it twice, you get the dock run addition arrows that allow you to add dock sections to the right hand or left hand of the dock layout. The dock is built in a series of runs. As we stated earlier, click on it once and use the plus arrows to change the length of the dock run. You can click on the plus icon on the width and you can make it a six foot wide, double four foot wide, double six foot etc etc. The minus button reduces that width. The 8 foot long button that shows up is the how you modify the length of a 4 foot wide dock section. 4 foot wide dock sections are available in 8 and 10 foot long. When you click on this it will make that run built out of 10 foot sections instead of 8. Once you have your dock run started then you can go ahead and add platforms and L sections. Click on the dock section you want to add the run to and select the appropriate dock run arrow. The first arrow here is a side-by-side -side connection arrow. When I click on that it will create a, a new dock run to the side of the, uh, the existing dock run. You can then use the plus and minus arrows to change the, the width and length of that platform. The right angle dock run arrow will add a dock run to the right or left of the selected dock section at 90 degrees. You can then click on that dock run and use the plus and minus buttons to change the size and length of that dock run. When you're finished with the dock layout, you can then set water depths. Click on the shore station menu, click on the water depth icon. The first question is height off the water. Here we'll set 24 inches. After you set the height off the water, it will prompt you for the depth over each section. It does it in the order in which you did the dock layout. You'll notice that the actual 3D model of the dock did not change. The dock water depths are set within the program and will affect the bill of material. It does not change the dock visually. Your dock layout is finished and your water depths are set. It's now time to set some options and accessories for the dock. Click on the shore station menu. The first option you see here is for color. When you click on this, it actually changes it from the 
sand beige, cedar brown, and the harbor gray and slate gray color schemes. You can click on the accessory icons to add accessories to the dock. We'll start with the dock bumper. When you click on it, you'll notice the icon turns blue. That means you're actively putting that accessory on the, on the dock layout. When you click on a dock section, it will show you balloons for where the accessory could be placed. You click on the balloon and it will place the accessory on that location. When you place the dock stair, you click on the dock section that you want to add the stair to. If you click on the first section of the run, it'll place the stair as the starting point of the dock. When you click on the stair again, you will see the flip and size icons. The size icon will let you toggle between the eight step and five step stairs. If you click and add a dock stair to the side or, or to a dock section that isn't the start of a run, the flip icon will then allow you to flip which side of the dock the dock stair is on. When adding a dock bench, click on the deck of a section that you would like to add the dock bench to. It's handy to highlight the dock section, or excuse me, the dock bench after you place it and use the zoom icon to get in close to it. You'll notice the dock bench has two commands, size and rotate. Rotate will rotate the dock bench in 45 degree increments. Size will change it between the six foot and four foot dock bench options. You can tweak the position of the dock by just clicking and dragging it in approximately where you want it when you install it. first icon is the top view. This allows you to get a very top camera view of the dock layout. The next icon is the download screenshot icon. When you click on this, it downloads a PNG image of the dock layout. This is an easy image for you to email as an attachment or send through a text from your phone. The next icon will allow you to download a 3D model of the entire dock layout in a GLTF format. The share icon will create a share link for you to use with the customer. If you click on this, it copies the shareable link to your, your keyboard. You can paste this into a text message or into an email and send to the customer. When the customer clicks on this share link, it actually opens up the dock builder webpage and automatically loads that layout for them to view. Last but not least is the generate quote icon. When you click on this icon, it generates a quote form with all the components required to build this dock layout. You can enter customer information along with dealer information. At the bottom of the quote form is an area that you can add terms, installation, and other notes to the quote. Buttons across the top allow you to close it, print it, and you can when you print it, you can use your browser's save as PDF functionality if you want. Download will allow you to download a CSV file of the bill of material. This is a file that will open up into whatever spreadsheet utility you use. The discount and tax information button allow you to add uh, a discount percentage and a tax dollar amount to the quote. You can also add a delivery and installation fee that will show up as a line item. These show up at the bottom of the quote 
as line items. The Shore Station Dock Builder allows you to quickly lay out and accessorize your customer's dock. The tool makes it quick and easy to share your design with your customer. We hope this video has provided you with the information to get started. Contact your Shore Station representative if you have any questions. Thank you.